Hey everyone, quick tutorial on how to remove, track and remove items in DaVinci Resolve. I am using the beta version 19, but this works in just about any of them. So uh, let's see, we've got our clip here. You see it's a little shaky, so there's movement. And uh, this is just a homeless tent in LA. And let's go here and let's say we're looking at the shot and we really, I don't know, this trash bag doesn't work. So let's class it up a little bit. So let's go here, we're gonna do paint. And then we will go uh, zoom in a bit so we can get a nice shot of this trash can. Now, this isn't going to be exact because I wouldn't really do this, but just to give you an example. So we're going to go over here. I've already put in my paint node. We're going to go to duplicate and then up here, hit the single. Okay, there we are. And now we're going to need the brush size. We can keep it big for this is all for teaching purposes. So you'll see what you can do with this in a second. So you're going to hold alt on your keyboard and then click where you want to duplicate. So let's say we want to start from here. So now you see the X is where you're going to duplicate from. And then you just click and magic erase it out. So again, this is not going to be perfect. We are just doing an example here. Okay, but all in all, that doesn't look too bad. So there we have it. So here's the problem. When you play the clip, so we're going to remember we're at about 137. So when you play the clip, look, the, it doesn't move with it, right? So as the camera shakes, the cover doesn't shake. So let's go back to right about where we were. This will work just fine. So up at the top left here, you're gonna click the arrow, then you're gonna highlight all of the strokes. So make sure you make it big enough to where you're getting everywhere you may have done a paint stroke. And there you go. There are all your little uh, strokes there. And then up here, you're gonna see, uh, this is a group symbol. We're going to group everything together and boom. Okay, so we've created a group of all of our strokes. Over here on the right, you'll see now this popped up tools, modifiers, and then you'll see you can move it. So this would allow you to slide the mask left, right, up, down, the paint. We don't want to do that. So we're going to right click on center. We're going to go to modify with tracker position. And there you see it's brought up a tracker, which, you know, you, you, you basically it's going to come up right where your stroke is at that point. So. We're going to go to our modifiers and then tracker source we need to fill in. So the easiest way to do this, just grab your media in one, click hold and just drag it right up into that box. Boom. So now it's got the tracker on the trash bag. And now we're going to just track this baby. Hit the track forward button. There you go. And now you'll see that mask is now matching the movement of the camera. So it has tracked and masked the movement of the camera, and so now your mask is there. And so when you go back to, let's say, the edit page, there it is. The bag is gone.